Treating stroke in any age group is inherently multidisciplinary and it's crucial to have dedicated stroke neurologists who are experts at recognizing the symptoms of stroke quickly. Uh, it's crucial to have a hematology component because frequently on the pediatric side, the stroke is related to some broader problem with clotting uh, that may be due to a generalized problem the child has. It's crucial to have neurosurgery involved because there is always that danger of converting what was an ischemic stroke where there's lack of blood flow into a bleed which needs neurosurgical attention. Uh, it's crucial to have the emergency department very centrally involved, and it, so it's really quite interdisciplinary. Even things that would be easier on the adult side, like getting quick imaging, are more challenging on the pediatric side, so that we need anesthesia involved very quickly, for example. Um, one of the main challenges is recognizing pediatric stroke. Because it's rare, many studies have shown that there is a very long lag between the onset of symptoms and the time that the first physician actually concludes that the child is having a stroke. So I mentioned to you before that all the treatments we have are very time dependent and it's very frustrating on the pediatric side because there's usually a built-in extra hour or two at least of delay and often it can be days before in retrospect the physicians realize this was actually a stroke and not a seizure or some other sudden change in behavior that can occur to a child. So uh, we have assembled uh, a group here at Children's that is very multidisciplinary, uh, headed by Dr. Rifkin of Neurology. And the idea is really to try to mobilize our resources as quickly as possible when a child does come in with an acute event, uh, to be able to quickly offer the imaging they need, to ascertain that it is an ischemic stroke, meaning a block in the vessel as opposed to a bleed, and to initiate a whole pathway that would eventually lead to potentially intravenous TPA, and then if that is not quickly effective, uh, to intra-arterial uh, intervention, <coughs> excuse me, of the kind I mentioned before. Um, because pediatric stroke is rare, most of the cases we've seen so far have been cases that started in the hospital where a child was undergoing some other procedure, potentially a cardiac procedure, and a clot formed and flew up into the brain. And that sometimes is our best chance for getting to those patients quickly because they're right here in the hospital already. So a big part of the challenge will be to mobilize patients from the community quickly and get them here early enough for us to intervene.